What if I told you that planets don't just die quietly? They're violently shattered by forces we can't see and almost never survive to tell the story. We think of space as silent, still, and frozen in time. But behind that silence, there's chaos. And every planet you see may be just one collision away from total destruction. From rogue worlds on collision courses to invisible gravitational traps set billions of years ago, these aren't just random impacts. They're engineered by the laws of the universe itself. And the craziest part? Sometimes destruction doesn't end a planet's story. It starts something entirely new. Let's break down the unseen forces behind the most brutal events in the universe. Planetary Collisions Planetary collisions are powerful events that can dramatically alter the nature of planets. It's believed that they played a crucial role in the formation of our solar system, including the creation of the Moon from an impact between Earth and a Mars-sized object. Aside from this, they may also explain the formation of other terrestrial planets. Although planetary collisions are rare, they're immensely powerful events, unlike the frequent impacts of asteroids or comets. Collisions between full-fledged planets are colossal and involve unimaginable energy and irreversible consequences. However, these events are not just random accidents. They are governed by deep and often invisible forces acting over millions or even billions of years. Orbital instability is the underlying force driving planetary collisions. During the early stages of solar system formation, planets emerge from swirling clouds of gas, dust, and rock. However, this process is naturally chaotic, and gravitational interactions between newly formed bodies can destabilize orbits. A massive body like a migrating gas giant can disturb nearby planetary paths and set them on a slow motion course towards disaster. This slow motion toward disaster is shaped by complex gravitational dynamics and ultimately determines the fate of the planets involved. Rogue planets can also travel through interstellar space and eventually collide with other planetary bodies if captured by a star's gravitational pull. In some cases, decaying orbits caused by gravitational drag or interactions with other celestial objects can also lead two planets to collide over time. Although statistically, planetary collisions are rare in mature solar systems like ours, they were far more common in the early universe. Evidence suggests that our own moon was formed from such a collision when a Mars-sized body, Theia, impacted the proto-Earth. These events are not only destructive, they are also creative forces that shape the architecture of planetary systems, alter chemical compositions, and sometimes make life possible by forming habitable worlds. Not all planets are created equal, so the outcome of planetary collisions depends largely on what the planets are made of, how they are structured, and how they interact with one another. A collision between two terrestrial planets will unfold very differently from one involving gas or ice giants. To really understand the consequences of planetary destruction, we need to understand the unique characteristics of each planetary type. Terrestrial planets like Earth, Mars, and Venus are primarily composed of silicate rocks and metals. They have solid surfaces, dense iron-rich cores, and relatively thin atmospheres. When two rocky planets collide, the impact is direct and violent. The crusts and mantles shatter and vaporize, releasing enormous amounts of heat. Depending on the angle and speed of the collision, the result may be the destruction of one or both planets, the fusion of the two bodies into a larger planet, or the formation of a debris disk that can coalesce into moons or rings. This type of collision is also capable of exposing planetary cores or significantly altering a planet's geologic composition. Gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn are primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with small rocky or metallic cores buried deep within massive, dense atmospheres. These planets lack solid surfaces. Instead, their atmospheres gradually thicken with depth. In a collision involving a gas giant, much of the kinetic energy may be absorbed or dissipated in the vast gaseous envelope. Depending on size and speed, the impacting object could also be swallowed entirely, without significant disruption. 
However, with enough energy, shock waves may compress the planet's interior and disrupt core stability or lead to atmospheric loss. Because of their huge gravity, gas giants can also tear smaller objects apart through tidal forces even before a collision occurs. Ice giants like Uranus and Neptune are composed of a mix of water, methane, ammonia, and rocky materials. They have smaller gaseous envelopes than gas giants, but thicker icy mantles. Upon impact, ice components may instantly vaporize, contributing to massive chemical reactions and atmospheric shifts. The distribution of mass in ice giants can lead to complex gravitational and magnetic responses during collision. These impacts may strip outer layers or redistribute internal heat, altering the planet's structure significantly. Ice giants are prone to being reshaped or destabilized in partial collisions or glancing impacts. When different types of planets, such as gas versus terrestrial or ice versus rocky collide, the result is asymmetrical destruction. The denser, rockier planet may bore into the lighter one, displacing massive amounts of gas or ice, potentially destabilizing the larger body's atmosphere and core. The energy exchange in these mixed-type collisions can lead to massive outgassing events, core exposure, fragmentation of the smaller planet, and formation of hybrid bodies with mixed compositions. Each planetary type introduces a unique set of variables into the collision equation, and these differences help to predict outcomes in both our solar system and distant exoplanetary systems. The fate of colliding planets is not determined just by size or speed, but majorly by the types of planets involved. Each combination produces unique effects depending on density, composition, atmospheric structure, and thermal dynamics. Let's explore the distinct scenarios and outcomes of different planetary collisions. This is a typical case of disproportionate power. A terrestrial planet, with its solid rocky core and thin atmosphere, is no match for the immense size and mass of a gas giant, which is made up of thick layers of pressurized hydrogen and helium. The terrestrial planet may thrust into the gas giant's atmosphere and disintegrate before reaching the core, releasing energy in the form of heat and shock waves. If the impact is energetic enough, the terrestrial planet might survive initial atmospheric drag, compress the gas layers, and trigger deep internal instability or core heating. This could result in atmospheric turbulence, temporary brightening, and possible ejection of gases into space. Long-term effects may include slight orbital changes or rotational shifts in the gas giant. Although ice giants are less massive than gas giants, they have thick mantles of volatile ice and a slushy, compressed interior. A terrestrial planet impacting an ice giant will encounter a different set of challenges. The impact can vaporize ice, releasing water vapor, ammonia, and methane into the surrounding space. The collision may remove parts of the ice giant's outer layers or cause convection-driven chemical mixing within. Fragments of the terrestrial planet might stay in orbit, possibly forming rings or even giving rise to new, smaller moons. Interestingly, some scientists believe Uranus's extreme axial tilt is the result of a glancing collision with a large, rocky body in the distant past. This is a high-energy, volatile combination. The gas giant's immense gravity meets the relatively less dense but still massive ice giant. The ice giant may be destroyed before direct impact due to tidal forces exerted by the gas giant. If a collision occurs, the gas layers of both planets can mix and destabilize both atmospheres. Under extreme heating, chemical reactions may be ignited in the ice giant's volatiles. A massive planetary collision could result in the formation of a larger gas planet, possibly belonging to a new class with changed magnetic fields and heat properties. This is the most solid and catastrophic type of collision, and the one most likely to leave long-term geologic and orbital evidence. Head-on collisions may completely destroy both planets and create a massive debris field or protoplanetary disk while oblique or glancing impacts could lead to partial destruction, crustal melting, and ejection of material that may form a satellite. 
One famous hypothesis is that the Moon's formation is believed to have resulted from a terrestrial-on-terrestrial -terrestrial collision between Earth and a Mars-sized body, Theia, around 4.5 billion years ago. Each scenario shows that collisions are not just chaotic smash-ups, but complex dances of mass, momentum, and chemistry. Whether they end in destruction, merger, or transformation, these cosmic events are some of the most powerful sculptors of planetary systems. In space, planets don't last forever. Even though they seem strong and unchangeable, they can be destroyed by powerful forces we can't always see, like gravity, fast movements, and changes in their orbits. One of the most dramatic ways a planet can be destroyed is through a collision with another planet. But not all collisions are the same. What happens depends on the types of planets involved. Sometimes a planet might get completely destroyed. Other times, pieces of it might come together to form a new planet or a moon. Although these collisions can seem violent and chaotic, they play an important role in shaping the universe. So, while planetary destruction might sound like the end, it's also part of how new things are created in space. It shows us that change, no matter how big or small, is a natural part of the universe's story.